Doug Kide here on Radio Row with Chris Mad Dog Russo from Sirius XM. Dougie, good to see you. Chris, how's it going? Okay, pal, doing well. So how have you, what have you made of this whole Super Bowl week? Maybe it's just me. I'm a Patriots reporter. Last week seemed to, and last year seemed a little more exciting. Do you think this, this Super Bowl week has kind of lived up to the hype? You know, I haven't been out to see the teams because yeah. they're way down in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so true. I haven't seen the teams that yeah. much. You know, the Broncos are going to be close to the vest. They're going to take Manning's lead. Yep. Cam made a lot of comments last week, that's so right. I'm sure he got told, you know, let's calm it down a little bit. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, the uh, Carolina's not a no national team to begin with. Denver's been at this game before. Yep. Uh, it comes down to how the game is. And yep. don't forget, we're a long way away. That's got something to do with it, too. This is not. This is 45 minutes that's right. from where those two teams are, <laughs> so they're not in the middle of it. They don't see him out. You don't see yep, North. Yep. I, that's part of it. That plays into it. But I think once the game plays, I think you got a chance to have a pretty good football game. I heard that Manning's been great in practice. Yep, yep. If that means anything, so we'll have to wait and see. And what do you make of the game? Do you think that do you think Manning will be able to hold up to that Panthers defense? Well, I had a lot of people on in the last couple of days. Here's what I'll tell you: what they said. Herm Edwards said that Manning's going to have to make about ten big passes in yep. the game. Um, uh, Peter King told me that only five passes hit the ground in the last two days in practice. <laughs> wow. um, you know, obviously that the Denver defense is going to have to try to stop Cam Newton on first down. Third and eight, they're bad in. Third and short, they're good in. So keep an eye on that. I think most people think Carolina's going to win. You know, most 15-1 to teams yeah. that come to this level, they win. You know, the right. Patriots are one Absolutely. of the few teams that lost. Exactly. You know, Pitt, St. Louis, uh, uh, San Francisco beat the um, Dolphins badly yeah. in 85. Yeah. The yeah. Bears killed the Pats yeah. uh, in 80. So, I mean, most of the big heavyweight teams that yeah. come to this game, Miami beat the Redskins yeah. with this kind of record. They usually win. I don't think Carolina is that good. Right. So I think they're a little more vulnerable. But most 15-1 to teams come in, and I think most of the people here like Carolina. Definitely getting away from this year's Super Bowl. Going back to last year a little bit, Deflate Gate. It's kind of back in the news now. Cadell held a presser today. Didn't really say much of anything. What did you kind of make of what he's been saying about Deflate Gate? Not releasing those PSI numbers this season. Well, I mean, I think right now the whole thing with Deflate Gate and the appeal is whether the NFL had the right under the collective bargaining agreement. Yeah to rule what they did. Okay. I think the idea of the PSIs and what the ball weights was, yeah. that's not that's neither here nor there at the moment. Yeah. Because the appeal is simply under the CBA in which Dick Berman said no. Yeah. Uh, does the N NFL have the, op have the right, collectively bargained, to legislate punishment yeah. on something along those lines? Right. Berman said no, if the, field, if the appeals court judge says yes, yeah. Well, then, the, uh, then I'm assuming the four-game <laughs> thing will stand. Well, yeah. But we're not there yet. Let's see yeah. what the appeal judge says. Absolutely. And just what, what do you think, Goodell, how do you, how do you think he's doing as a commissioner? Do you think he's – I mean, obviously he's doing what the NFL wants him to, but he could be a little bit more human, right? Well, I listen, uh, <laughs> no question about it, but Goodell makes some money, yeah. right? He went yeah. to L.A. He's got two teams out there. Yeah. They just signed the Thursday night TV package. They got $150 more million. They split it up two ways yeah. with NBC and CBS, and they got eight games to the NFL Network. Yeah. Uh, you know, Goodell has been, and they like Goodell. The the owners like him, and of course, if you're making him all this money, he's good with the TV. He's a good TV negotiator. Yeah. Yeah. If he's giving him all this money, that goes a long way. So I understand that he may not be a guy that, you know, we're all going to sink our teeth to. I know that New England can't stand him. Right. So I, I, I do understand that there are folks out there who don't, who don't, trust him yep. and don't respect him and hate Ted Wells. I get all that. Yep. But as far as if you're an owner, he's made you plenty of money and yes. that's his job. That and he's done job. that job pretty well. He is doing it. His, uh, his, his owners, his, his bosses, they like what, is, they, they like what they see. I mean, they just, he, Stanley, Stan Kroenke is spending $800 million to build an NFL team in Los Angeles and in Inglewood. Yeah. He's got uh, Spanos went along with it. The vote went well. He's got to get the Raiders stadium situation straightened out and everything else. Yep, but from yep. a standpoint of L.A. television, he's done well. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Doug, Chris. Good job, pal. Yep, yep. Serious XM. That's Denver, right. yep. Denver in a close one. Denver in a close one. Wow, wow. That's bold. Why not? That's be bold. something. Be something. <laughs> 23 20.